What are we up to today? Uh, making washed rind. A washed rind cheese. Right. Do you remember what the name of it is? Uh, no. Hmm. Well, we have chosen to continue working with this book, The Art of Natural Cheese Making. And we've moved through so many cheeses. And where we are today, because we decided that the next thing we wanted to try was a washed rind cheese. And so there's a recipe here for Limburger cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be pretty stinky. I've never had it. Do you like stinky cheese? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Does it taste stinky usually? No. No, okay. Well, we have out, I think, all the things that we will need for this project. We have here, what do we have? Milk. Yeah, we have some raw milk. Um, what do we have here in the measuring cup? Rennet. Rennet that we've put in uh, about a quarter cup of water. So we're dissolving the rennet in the water. And what do we have here? Uh, yogurt. It looks like yogurt, but it's not yogurt. What is it? Uh, kefir foam. Yeah, we have some fresh uh, kefir or kefir here that we'll, we'll use to bring culture to the cheese. Where are you going? Yeah. And what are these from? Do you remember? Strawberry baskets. Yeah, I'm going to move this back here because we're talking about cheese, right? So we have strawberry baskets. that we, They should work pretty well, don't yeah. you think? Yeah. And we're supposed to have three of them, but since we only have two, if we have extra, then we'll just put it in the round one. Yeah. Right? And then what do we have here? Cheese flop. Mm -hmm. And then, is that everything? Milk. Yeah. Cake of rind. Um... Corn. Yeah. Um, rennet. Yes. Milk. Right. Pot. Pot. Yes. So we're going to book. book. We're going to put this into the boiling water, the cheesecloth into the boiling water so that it's ready when we need it. Mm -hmm. And then we will pour the milk into the pot and heat it up. Why shouldn't I do it now? Uh, you can, but I want to make sure that I'm here to help you with it. Okay? Okay. okay. Is it heavy? We will it sounds like it's hollow, doesn't it? It does sound like it's hollow. And now oh. we'll heat this up to 90 oh, degrees. Like uh, you can drink whatever's left. Sure. So we've heated our milk to how many degrees? Do you remember? You don't remember? No. So let's turn it around so that anyone can see the number, maybe. So let's check the, check the temperature. Put it in there. And we've got 90 degrees. So what we'll do next is add our... Granite. Mm, nope. Kefir grind. Kefir culture, yes. So you put that in and add it to the pot and stir it up. Don't let it splash, just pour it in. That was Thank a you. very grown up way to do it. It was a grown up way to do it, that's true. I was, pour, I was pouring well stirring. Yes. Is it all mixed up? Looks mixed up. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to stop it from spilling. Oh, it's fine. We need to keep it the right temperature. So why don't you take the spoon out? I'm going to put it back on the stove to let it stay. And then you wanted to talk about the rennet that you have there. I hear mom. Yeah, I got it. So we have the rennet here, right? And you wanted to... Yeah. It's almost dissolved already, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to mix it up? So I'm going to set the timer for an hour while we let that incubate. And we will... Check the temperature to make sure that it stays about 90 degrees for the whole time. We've waited an hour so far, haven't we? Cheese has a lot of waiting time, doesn't it? Yeah? Yeah. All right, so our next step is to pour in the rennet, which we've already dissolved, right? I'm going to take the fork out. Do you want to pour and I'll stir? Yeah. Okay. You pour it in. Did you get all of it out? Yeah. All right. So this is the one where we have to be careful not to over stir. Right. So how do we check for a clean break? Do you remember? One finger in and pull up. It went plop. I think we're there, don't you? Why don't you pick it up? There it is. Looks good. It's time to do some cuts. Please stop digging at the cheese. All right.
Here, I'm going to do some cuts. You ready? Yeah. So we're going to cut. And now the other direction, right? Way. Now I'm gonna make a cube. Yeah, now we're gonna make cubes. I'm gonna try and cut them sideways. Okay, stir. Jump gently and just stir around, okay? All the way to the bottom of the pot, please. Yeah, there are some big cubes. All right, we're finally ready, aren't we? We're gonna move. What are we? Tell me what we're gonna do. Uh, make gorgonzola. <laughs> we're not making gorgonzola. That was the last time. What is? What's this next step? Uh. What's here? Like cheese molds. So we're gonna fill the cheese molds. So I'll hold, fold the. I'll hold the cheese mold. Hold the little. No, you're gonna use your hands. You're gonna scoop them out and put them in the in the mold. We've got our clean strawberry baskets. Gonna work. Look, it's sneaking out the sides. No, they're not. They are not. Hmm. They are not sneaking out the sides. Really? Yes. All right. Let's fill this one. It's just because the it's just because they're falling to the sides and then, but they're not gonna sneak out. Well. All right. Next up. So this is our draining it's, table. What do we have? In the, we've got the casserole dish on the bottom and our. It's not a casserole dish. What is it? It's a dish. All right. And a baking rack on the top. And then um, bamboo mats on top of that. All right. So it looked like the curds were going to sneak out of the strawberry baskets, right? So good thing we have this boiled cheesecloth. We've now lined the baskets with the cheesecloth and we're going to fill them again so that everything stays in the form, right? Yeah. And they're draining and they're not sneaking out anymore. They look pretty flat. Yeah. And then, um, no, in your mouth, please. All right. And then we're going to make a washing brine, right? So we've got a tablespoon of salt. Yep. And we're going to pour, I'll get the ladle. Okay. I don't want you to scoop curds. I want you to pull it from the top, okay? No, you're not. So we have our cheeses draining on our draining table, right? And we'll flip them a couple times over the next day, and then tomorrow we get to salt them. And then when we wash them, we'll use this washing brine that we kept. And check this cheese out, right? We bought this today from Rainbow. Yeah, we should try it. And it's like it's a washed rind cheese, and it's called Oma, and. This is what part of what we're going to use to wash the rinds after they're all dry. How? I guess we'll wipe the rind of this before we put it in the washing brine, and then we'll wash the cheese. But that's a couple of days from now, right? So we'll let these drain and take their form. Yeah? All right. We'll see you tomorrow, right? Really? really we're done today? Done for today? Hi, Wyatt. Hi. So here we are again today, right? What are we going to do today? Um, make refried beans. Oh, we're making refried beans. <laughs> oh, are these refried beans? Right. Mom, uh -oh. oh, you wanted to do it? Okay, show me the refried beans. Right. Oh, wait, it's cheese. Oh, wait, it's cheese. <laughs> Not refried beans. <laughs> Not refried beans. Um, we're going to put one teaspoon of salt onto each of these I cheeses. Can, I can measure. So you measure, we'll do one at a time. Here, I'll hold this one, and you got to put the, cheap, the salt all over it. Do you remember how to do that? Yeah, you sprinkle it. Yeah, you sort of rub it in. Yeah. Okay, so... We're done. We're done. So we're going to let these... We're going to let these dry for another day. Right? We'll sell them tomorrow. And then we'll be back and check how dry they are. Oh, I can do it. You hand me this end and you do the other end, okay? Cover them up. Here we are. Yeah. We are ready to wash our cheeses. What do you have there? Cheesecloth. Cheesecloth. And we've decided that we've got three cheeses, two rectangular ones and one round one. 
and we're going to make the round one, we're going to try to make that one into a brie camembert and the other two into wash brand, yeah. right? So I'll do the camembert. Yeah, but we need to put a little bit more than just what you have on your finger there. So let's go like this. You fold it over and you dip it in the brine and then we'll wash the cheese. You can dip it all the way in. That's good. It's still pretty dripping. Okay, now we're gonna wipe the rind of this washed rind cheese that we bought. That's yucky. It's not yucky, we tried it, it's so no, good. Okay. Here, oh. you don't need to, here we go. There. A little bit, it's hard to get just right, isn't it? Yeah. So we're gonna wipe the rind of this. Oh, it's turning all the way pink. I know. Now I want you to wash this one. All right. Now, the thing is, we have to do, the, these two we'll have to do every, twice a week, I mean, and this one we have to do every other day. So we're gonna keep doing that. We're gonna wash the- Ooh, ooh, well, well why don't we wash that one? Oh, well, we might eat that, the rest of that yeah, piece. We'll save this that's one for- Yeah, that's eat it, that's So we're going to wash the rind of the camembert every other day, and this one, these two we're gonna do twice a week. Are you playing a song? <laughs> Okay, I think we're done. Okay. We're gonna put the lid back on and put it back in the cage, Here. in the fridge. Uh, I'll, I'll put it on. Okay. Let's, let's just put it on the, the label on the top that we started this on July 3rd. Leave it on. That's how I remember when we start.